Hola, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about a transmitter is a device that converts the signal produced by a sensor into a standardized instrumentation signal such as 3 to 15 PSA air pressure, 4 to 20 milliamperes DC electric current, digital that consists of a series of pulses in the form of bits, etc. Now I will show you a timeline in which we will see when these standards began to be implemented. It should be noted that all these types of signals are still used nowadays, but not with the same frequency as they were used in their heyday. We have the pneumatic signal being the first to be implemented in 1940. Then, in 1960, the analog signal began to be used. Then, the hard signal in the 80s. And finally, the digital signal of the field bus protocol. There are different needs the users of these devices must cover. Instrumentation developers have been innovating in this matter. These needs are increasing the productivity, increasing the quality of the process, repeatability of characteristics in the manufactured product. This means that you must receive a product of the quality that was requested and not higher or lower than specified. This is indicated in the ISO 9000 standards, reduction of manufacturing costs, security that bad maneuvers that could result in losses are avoided. And finally, the standardization of instruments. All this has been solved thanks to the microprocessors, which need digital transmission signals to function. Digital signals are the most accurate type of signal, in addition to making the transmission and storage of process variables easier. Being in 1983 the launch of the first digital transmitter called Intelligent by the Honeywell firm and three years later, the first transmitter that carries a digital signal directly to the receiver arises. It is from here that communication protocols have advanced very rapidly. To give you an idea of the accuracy that this type of signal has compared to the others, pneumatic signals have an accuracy of plus minus 0.50%. Electronic signal has plus minus 0.30%. Hard signal has plus minus 0.15% and the digital ones have plus minus 0.10%. Remember that the accuracy is measured in terms of inaccuracy. This type of transmitter is based on a nozzle shutter system that converts the movement of the primary measuring element into a 3 to 15 PSA pneumatic signal. These transmitters are susceptible to malfunctions due to the accumulated dust or oil in the nozzle, which can clog it, being this one one of the reasons why they are being discontinued. Electronic transmitters can base their operation on inductance detectors or using differential transformers or Wheatstone bridges or a force balance beam, which convert the variable signal into a 4 to 20 mA direct current electronic signal. The problem is that these types of transmitters are sensitive to vibrations and they cannot store plant signals. Digital transmitters are so named because they can perform additional functions at the same time, such as generation of digital signals, communicability, use of other sensors such as pressure and temperature to compensate for fluid variations and have greater accuracy, easy change of range. For example, in the case of a temperature variable, the transmitter can work with different resistant probes and thermocouples and measuring fields thanks to the linearization of the scales and the compensation of the cold junction provided by the microprocessor. There are two basic models of intelligent digital transmitters. Capacitive. The capacitive one is based on the variation in capacity produced in a condenser that inside has two fixed plates joined by an internal diaphragm and that move when pressure is applied to external diaphragms. The pressure transmission occurs through an oil which the condenser is filled with. Then a circuit with an oscillator and a demolator transforms this variation of capacity to an analog signal which in turn is converted into digital and goes through an intelligent microcontroller that converts it into an analog signal of 4 to 20 mA direct current. When the semiconductors are subjected to pressure, they produce an electric current, which is used in this transmitter model. 
For example, in the diffused silicon smart transmitter, a diffused semiconductor made with a thin silicon layer is used and it's doped with certain techniques to generate a stress-sensitive zone. This behaves like a dynamic Wheatstone circuit. E1 and E2 are equal when there is no pressure. When there is, Rb and Rc decrease their resistance and Ra and Rd increase it, which causes voltage drops and a difference between E1 and E2 which is applied to a high-gain amplifier that controls a variable current regulator. A direct current range of 3 to 19 mA with 1 mA from the bridge produces a 4 to 20 mA output signal. This current flows through the feedback resistor RFB and raises E1 to voltage equivalent to E2 by rebalancing the bridge. As the voltage drop across RFB is proportional to RB. This resistance sets the span of the transducer. Now we will know the advantages and disadvantages of smart transmitters. Automatic span change. Compensation of temperature variations. Maintenance. Because there is no need to calibrate the instruments, which helps save time, money, and hassle in the process. Rangeability, which is the dynamic signal radio of measure. Self calibration due to the process variations. Auto diagnosis. Portable communication. Connection to a personal computer or PC. A standardization of digital communications, which is not fully resolved. Defective frequency response. This is due to the inherent delay of the microprocessor that must perform different calculations sequentially, which will cause the signal to be distorted. Now, I will show you some comparative tables between pneumatic, conventional and intelligent electronic transmitters with 4 to 20 mA and digital output signals respectively. And well, this will be all for today's video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. I upload videos every Friday and on Wednesday in Spanish. Adios! DC Electric Country? Electric Country, Electric Country. Ah, no, but it's okay. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Oh my god. Being in 19...